17.1, plug in the battery, and we have 17.4. The battery is locked. So you see, with 17.4, the battery should take a lot of current, which is it's not taking current. Look, look now, it's 15.6, yeah? So that's mean the battery is still speaking with the EC chip. That's the reason we have the drop from 17 to 15, yeah? It's not because the battery is taking current and the voltage is getting dropped. No, the battery is taking no current. It's because the EC chip is speaking with the battery. But the battery it is locked. Yeah. It's nothing what we can do. I mean, even if I come with the power supply, let's come with the power supply. Let's lower the current. I'm pretty sure it will not churn here, yeah, like one point something amps. So check here, yeah? So we have ground. And here we have plus, yeah? And it's taking what? 10 milliamps. Check there. You can see on the screen. And my question is, can we go the extra mile and uh, actually help this customer with the battery? But how we can do it? Where is the board? Let's do a small incision, yeah? Surgical. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here are the cells. This is not helpful. Because if I charge one cell, the battery it will get locked, yeah? Because the cells, it will be unbalanced. Now here is the board. You can see the board? There is the board. Then now I have to find the minus and plus. And here it's a plastic thingy. You can see it? Yeah, okay, so this is coming out. Another incision here. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, so we have the board here. That's fantastic, and that's mean the other board is here, right? Yeah. Yeah, so we do have the other board here. So what we are looking right now, right now we are looking for the highest voltage possible. That's what you are looking when you open the battery. So you try to find two pins with the highest voltage possible. So from here to here we have 3.4, from here to here we have 5.2, from here to here we have 7 volts. So at the moment 7 volts is the highest voltage. Yeah? From here to here we have 3. Five. Okay, so the highest voltage, it was here, yeah? So the plus, it's on this side, right? Yeah. Plus is here, minus is there. Let's charge the battery. It's charging now, check there. Hmm? It's taking 500 milliamps and the voltage is rising quickly. We have 10 volts, so let's raise the current. Let's raise the voltage. Yeah, 1.5 amps. And we have 12 volts and it's going up. 12.3, 12.4. Let's raise the current. Yeah, 2.4 amps. We have 13 volts. So, uh, if we stop now, do you think the battery will charge? Oh, what do you think? 13.8 volts. Yeah, let's see. Let's see if it's charging. So, plug in the battery. We have 20 volts on the power supply. We have the charger here. Plug in the charger. It's taking 30 milliamps, it's not charging. Because we do have voltage on the battery connector, you see? We have like 15, 16 volts. 
but the battery it is locked. <laughs> no, the battery is taking absolutely no current. Nothing. We do have the charging sign here, but it's not charging. And let's get the NLBA, yeah? And try to analyze this battery and see what is wrong with this battery, yeah? I mean, don't get me wrong, uh, this is not our job, we are not paid to fix the battery. I mean, I can easily tell the customer, you need another battery, and it will be no problems, no issue, yeah? But, you know, if we can help, let's help. Okay, NLBA, and it's on the screen. Start reading, and let's find the clock and data, right? How can I do it so you can see what I'm doing? Like that, yeah? Good. So how we are finding the clock and data? Randomly, you know, just connecting the wires. Nothing. Let me power on. Yeah. Okay, let's push some, uh, you know, current into the battery. Nothing. Okay, check there, check there, check there, check there, check there. Yeah? So we are able to read the battery. And the cells are balanced, but the battery is locked. Charging current zero. Charging voltage zero. Read the capacity, it's empty. Check on the battery health. That's all that I'm saying. Because people say, sorry, a dead battery is a dead battery. This is brand new. You can see brand new with the cycle count of 17. You can see 17 cycles. This is brand new. So why this battery is locked? Let me try a trick. Yeah, it's locked. The battery is locked. Good. Stop breathing. Power off. Yeah, even without the power, it's still reading the data. Good. Let's try to unlock the battery. Yeah? Please save the original EEPROM first. So you can see it's saying sealed, charging disabled, discharging disabled, and uh, PF status one. Let's read the EEPROM. Error while reading. Okay, unseal. Read chip info, clear chip errors, error clears, read chip info, and now we have PF status 000. So seal, exit boot, and, and now we are going to the battery info. Check there, yeah, battery unlocked, you can see. So now if I go now to charge, start charging. Check that, check the current, check the current. The battery is taking current because we just unlocked the battery. Beautiful, and check here, the current is rising. And this is a brand new battery, you understand? How the battery died? Probably the laptop was dead for a long time, the battery discharged, and uh, when the battery is getting over discharge, it will get locked in self, even if the cells are good. Okay, so we can clearly see it's charging. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to stop charging. Yeah, unlocked. We have some voltage on the cells. Yeah, a little bit of capacity is fine. So now let's disconnect the, let's disconnect the battery from the device. And let's bring the laptop back. Bringing the laptop back. Plug in the battery. Yeah, like that. Let me let me get the blue pin back. One second. 
is taking 200 milliamps the battery and the voltage onto the battery is 13.1 now the battery is taking current the current is a little bit too low here we have 15 volts wait here we have 15 but after the mosfet we have 15 yeah and the battery is taking 3 amps check that huh? so right now the battery is charging with 3 amps we fix it i can't believe yeah we fix even the battery yeah the battery was tricky 3.2 amps only the battery check that it's working great but the battery it was locked you remember now if you are looking for the nlba device you know for a new viewer i will leave a link on the description about uh, from where you can buy the device yeah and if you use electronic repair school the coupon you get like ten dollars discount thank you for watching like and subscribe if you like the video and uh, see you on the next one bye